It's been a while since OnePlus 3 was launched. But then I wondered, does everyone knows all the secret features OnePlus 3 has to offer? Like, do you know routing your OnePlus 3 is covered under warranty? What is up guys, Sky here back with another video. Today I am going over 15 hacks which you probably didn't know before about OnePlus 3. For the love of AMOLED displays, OnePlus 3 offers you the option to turn on the dark mode under customization option in settings. It is not only cool on AMOLED display, but also saves you some battery. Plus you can opt out to change the accent color with dark mode and there are 8 different colors to choose from. To reduce eye strain while using the phone at night, OnePlus offers night mode under display option in settings, where you can customize the night mode intensity to reduce the blue light and to get a good night's sleep. How good the colors on the screen look to an individual can often be a point of debate. A perfect balance to some is too cool or too warm for others. Thankfully, OnePlus includes the option to manually adjust the color temperature through a slider under display in settings. Sliding right makes it more warmer and left makes it more cooler. OnePlus 3 offers 120 frames per second slow motion video recording at 720p. Just open the camera and tap on the left corner button and slide down to record your slow motion videos. If you are a hardcore photographer, you can capture raw images by going to camera, then tap here and then go to settings and turn save raw image on. Raw photos when compared to normal JPEG file are lossless and have much more details. OnePlus Oxygen OS offers an interesting feature called shelf and you can turn it on by pressing the home screen, then customize and then enable shelf. Now just by swiping left you get the shelf view where you can write a memo, check the live weather forecast, pin the most used contacts, apps and other widgets. Under the same customization button from home screen, you can make the persistent google search bar transparent or can even disable it. Swiping right, you can change your icon size from small to standard and to large. However, the icon size does not change in the menu. It only changes on the home screen. Now generally by default, the left capacitive button is for viewing the open apps and the right one is for going back. which might be a little uncomfortable for you if you are switching from other Android phones. Thankfully, you can swap the buttons by going to buttons in settings and then turning on swap buttons. The manual mode on OnePlus 3 is just amazing and you can get the option by swiping left to right on the camera interface, where you can manually change the ISO value exposure, white balance, and even the focus by using the slider on their respective options. One cool feature about the manual mode is that you can set separate focal and exposure points for your photos. You can even get rid of the traditional battery icon on the top under battery in settings and choose between battery bar, circle, percent or if you want to, you can even hide the icon. Just like every OnePlus phone since the beginning, you can choose whether or not you want to use on-screen software buttons or use the built-in capacitive buttons. By default, the capacitive buttons are in use but if you want the software buttons, Simply head to settings, buttons and toggle on screen navigation bar. 
OnePlus goes above and beyond though, letting you customize the function of capacitive buttons. Both the capacitive buttons have a backlight which light up when any of the buttons are touched. You can switch this off if you don't want to by tapping the backlight toggle under buttons in settings. Not only that, you can even set up incredibly useful long press or double tap shortcuts for turning screen off, search assistant, shelf, camera, etc. One of the most interesting feature is that you can enable a number of gestures in settings. With each enabled, you can double tap the screen to wake up the phone. Switch on the flashlight by drawing a V. Launch the camera by drawing an O. Pause music with a two finger swipe and skip track backward or forward by drawing less than or greater than. You can customize the notification bar icons just like any other Android phone by tapping on the edit button and arrange them as desired. At last but not the least, under customization from your home screen, you can accommodate more number of icons in your app drawer if you don't want to scroll up and down always by choosing the large option and vice versa. So that is it guys, thank you for watching, hit that like button if you found any useful hack from this video, share it among your friends if you want them to know any, subscribe to show some support and I will talk to you soon, peace.